Hi everyone. Welcome to Zynerd's Neat PG Information Series. Choice filling is on for All India Round One Counseling, and hope uh, Zynerd has been helpful in uh, giving you a set of uh, preferences of last year to start with. And hope uh, it has been helpful in telling you what are the closing ranks over the last years and information on uh, fees, stipend, bond, etc. for all, all institutes in uh, All India Counseling. In this video, we will be looking at uh, the, uh, giving you certain suggestions and. Uh, uh, making you aware of certain processes within All India Round 1 choice building before you submit the choices. Uh, we, towards the second part of the video, we'll also be looking at clarifying the queries that have come up on Round 2 choice building. What are the choices that you can fill in for Round 2? Whether you can fill in uh, the choices that were below your Round 1 allotted list, whether you can change your choices, etc. There were a lot of queries on that. We'll clarify that in the second part of the video. If you're only looking at that uh, clarification, you can the timestamp is available below and you can move on directly to Round 2 choice filling clarifications. Now we'll get into some basic points uh, to remember during the cho uh, choice filling for All India Round 1. There is always a query on whether I need to attend All India Round 1 and whether I can directly go into All India Round 2. Why to go join, travel and join an All India Round 1 seat? Can I go directly into All India Round 2? I have a chance in a state Round 1 seat. We suggest not to do that. The state possibilities may have changed because of reservations, because of uh, uh, in-service reservations in your state, the current reservation in All India uh, re resulting in competition, competition at the state level, etc. So a lot of factors that have changed in this year. Do not take a risk. Always attend All India Round 1 for which every candidate is eligible for. Have a seat in All India Round 1. And if you get a better seat in state Round 1, move on to the upgraded seat. What happens is that uh, almost 30% of seats are retained in All India Round 2. So if a lower ranker than you picks up, a, picks up a seat in All India Round 1 that was available for you, and you don't attend All India Round 1, you may not be able to get the same seat in All India Round 2. So do not make the mistake of uh, thinking that there, uh, you will go directly into All India Round 2 unless you are 100% confident that you will get your best seat in state round one. And uh, fill, filling choices, there are a lot of there is a lot of uh, confusion on whether I should fill only the choices that I would get and uh, whether uh, I should fill only those choices that are possible for me in a certain range, etc. No, it does not like that. Fill in every choice that we wish to join in the order of preference, even if it is not an unattainable choice or even if it is a choice that is probably only 1% or less than 1% chance of you getting it, fill it in the order of preference. There is no disadvantage by filling a choice which you want to join, even though you may not get it. So fill all choices by order of preference and don't miss out any choice assuming that you won't get it. Maybe you are at a very high rank, let's say 20,000. You can miss out a few choices, but be absolutely sure that you will never uh, uh, be able to get those choice before leaving out that choice. And don't, don't add a choice that you won't join. That is something that many candidates do. It is always better to decide before All India Round 1. Don't add a choice that you won't join. You'll end up with a choice that you may not want and you will get confused on whether you want to join it or not. Obviously, there is free exit, but it is always good that you don't add a choice that you won't join. In case it moves on to a, another rank holder who is below you, he may be able to join that seat as well. And in some stages, that may also result in lesser competition in round two if he moves out of the uh, entire process after round one. So next is on the finalize on finalizing the order from All India round one, uh, where others fill choices won't matter for you. So in case you're a higher ranker, a higher ranker than you fills a choice in a particular order, and you fill a choice in a particular order, only after the higher rankers first choice till the, till the last choice is processed, your first choice is going to be processed. So just because you put in a possible choice first, there is no higher chance of you getting that choice instead of a higher rank holder. So always make your choice list as your order of preference, whatever your order of preference is, don't worry about your higher rankers order of preference or your lower rankers order, order of preference. And always, it is always better to take a decision prior to All India Round 1 on the choice uh, list. Uh, don't keep chopping and changing choices between uh, rounds. There may be a few choices which you're not sure about, but ensure that most of the choices you want are very clear in the order that you want to, uh, in the order that you prefer. Institute names, be very clear about institute names. You have Jawaharlal Nehru Institute, Mahatma Gandhi Institute, Indira Gandhi's, uh, a lot of DNB hospitals, which are general hospitals, district hospitals within the same district, you will have multiple, you may have multiple district hospitals. You, uh, you might uh, uh, change the uh, exact uh, institute that you want. 
there is there are government medical colleges uh, in dnb you have fortis apollo max there are doi patils kasturba etc so ensure that you pick up the right institute by looking at the address or the uh, institute code uh, there are a lot of candidates who make uh, pick up uh, the wrong uh, speciality as well so when you're looking at the course clearly look at uh, the expanded uh, course uh, uh, some people pick type in uh, anatomy and then uh, anesthesia and then pick up anatomy be very sure even top rank candidates have uh, gone through this issue of picking up the wrong choice and being uh, allotted the wrong choice always keep saving choices even if you add two three choices keep saving choices and then come back what happens is after you add 30 choices if you keep save in certain situations only 10 15 choices are getting saved uh, this was what candidates have mentioned so keep saving choices and write down all the choices if required so that it is easy for you to create the order instead of doing it in the system you can write down all the choices for each range and then go ahead with filling the choices uh, decide and finalize a day before uh, so basically uh, the choices have to be decided and finalized at least a day before or even if not by tomorrow morning get a final uh, uh, order of the choices don't wait for the last minute because there will be a lot of issues at the last minute in terms of submitting choices payment unlocking payment can always be done till or can only be done till 17 3 pm note this uh, it is not till 11.55. You will have to pay till 17th. Uh, you can only pay till 17, 3 p.m. Locking is from 17, uh, 4 p.m. Only after locking starts, you will be able to submit your choices. Till then, you will not be able to submit your choices. Wait for the lock button or submit button in the uh, login page. In case you forget to lock your choices, you don't want to lock your choices and keep them open. You can keep them open till level 55. And at 11.55 tomorrow, that is January 17th, all the choices will be auto-locked even if you don't lock it. So as long as you keep saving choices, your final saved choices list will be auto-locked. Only difference is if you lock your choices, you will be able to take a printout. If you don't lock your choices, you will not be able to take a printout. Stipend bond details. Look at the stipend and bond details. There is no bond in DNB private institutes. There are There is a bond in some DNB government institutes including for diplomas. It is a DNB post MBBS or a diploma seat in a government institute. There is a chance that there is a bond. Have a look at it. But in no private institute, there is a bond in DNB. This is as per the accred accreditation rules. So uh, don't, there's a lot of misinformation being spread that there is a bond in good private institutes, etc. Don't uh, uh, pay heed to that. Implementation of bond may be different from the bond sign that we all know. Uh, uh, the current implementation may be different from the implementation uh, at the time of you uh, passing out. So uh, take a, a decision based on whatever information is available now in terms of implementation of the bond. Fees and st beyond that, actually, any uh, we can't do any, uh, we can't uh, predict what will happen three years down the line. Fees and stipend. Uh, there are a few high fee institutes in All India quota itself. Uh, Punjab, Haryana have an 1.5, 1.25 lakh fee or so. Maharashtra, Karnataka, ESA, MGM, uh, ESA, uh, Karnataka have uh, one lakh plus. Maybe Pondicherry also has that. Uh, ESA has a 2.5 lakh fee structure. MGM Varda has, a, almo, has an almost 2 lakh fee structure. SVIMS has a 1.2 lakh or around 1.2 lakh fee structure. Look at the fee structures of these institutes. You also have IGAMS or some autonomous institutes which are like Rajendra, etc., which may have a higher fee structure. Just check with these, check on these institutes uh, fee structure. Uh, it is available in Zyner. The link uh, is also put in, in the description box. Please, please check these or in the MCC Institute info, info which is also shared in the Telegram groups. Uh, also take a call on stipend versus fees. For instance, ESI may have a fee structure of 2.5 lakhs per annum, but their stipend is almost equal to 1 lakh plus in uh, Delhi. So skipping ESI just because the fee structure is high doesn't make sense. You may end up in an institute where the fee structure is low, but the stipend is very low. So uh, uh, check that before taking a call. And uh, we would always suggest uh, not to... Uh, Take uh, give too much weightage to the stipend part because what is more important is the academics and pay uh, and uh, the caseload and the other factors uh, which will make your career. Attending the next rounds, uh, don't worry about anything. Whatever happens in AAR one, whether you take a seat, you're allotted a seat, not allotted, you uh, allo you're you're allot you're allotted and you join the seat, you don't join the seat, you will still be eligible for AAR two, and you take a seat. And the same is with respect to a state R one as well. You join a seat an allotted AAR1 seat, still you will be able to attend state R1. We will come to the detailed scenarios of what needs to be done, what you need to be aware of, etc. in another video. But as of now, for filling choices, be very clear, you can attend state R1, whatever be your AAR1 status. Even if you have deposited your 
certificates in the all india r1 institutes most states allow you to attend with a bona fide certificate if the counseling is offline if it is online you can anyways attend the state r1 counseling so uh, there are a lot of that is again a lot of misinformation saying that you will not be able to attend you can attend be very clear about it and uh, there there have been a lot of queries on a lot of mistakes that have been uh, uh, done during the registration process for all india round one counseling this is uh, i'll just take you through the mistakes that you don't need to worry about at all wrong year of pass passing don't need to worry about it this is not used anywhere i mentioned something else in the role enrollment number there's an issue uh, i mentioned na or some other registration number no issues i entered partial university name or some other university name in the uh, under the uh, open text box that was provided no issues i there was a spelling mistake there's a spelling mistake in my name or it was there in my mother's name therefore i had to enter the wrong mother's name uh, with the wrong spelling to enter into the login to the system no issues at all this is not used anywhere i chose priority 1 2 3 4 5 uh, four instead of choosing priority 5 the only impact is that you will not be able to attend afms counseling otherwise this does not impact all india quota at all i selected nri uh, i basically some also have uh, asked us whether uh, if i select afms will it impact will i have to go attend afms for sure no it is not required you have selected afms even if you don't want to attend afms just skip that and the next is i selected nri by mistake while registering for neat pg i did not send any documents there are no issues you will still be able to see all choices under aaq in ur as well as under your category we have checked this multiple times so no issues this has happened in the past irrespective of what anyone tells you you can go ahead and submit all your choices whatever is visible for you if if there is a category seat you will get the category seat allotted and you can go join with your category certificate even if you have selected nri ignore the nri or indian option as far as all india quota is concerned anyways you did not send the document so you will not be seeing nri choices in this case uh, wrong current address mentioned no issues this is not used anywhere i changed my medical council registration after nba exam should i where should i update it no issues this is not used anywhere when you go and join if you have a valid registration that is more than enough my de demographic status changed i moved to a different state uh, my marital status changed no issues at all this is not uh, this is nothing to do with the join so this now we come to the next part of the video which is choice is choice filling and in all india round 1 and in all india round 2 we'll take a few scenarios uh, take one scenario and take you through how choice filling would have happened in all india round 1 and also take you through what all is possible in all india round 2 but before we go into all india uh, before we go into the scenario i'll tell you one main thing whatever be your question is what can i do whether i can fill in this choice that choice move choices etc the answer is yes so you can do whatever you want in all india round 2 with that in mind we will go into the scenarios one you would have started round one choice filling there would have been a blank list so you would have started adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 <laughs> and let us say your choice list is this for all india round one this is what was your choice list for all india round one this is a scenario that we are taking you have said gs general medicine first and topi wala grand medical college gmc nagpur general medicine and then you think that say gs is pediatrics is better than the other general medicine uh, seats in your preference order now and then you put in the other general medicine seats let's say this is the preference order what you do next you submit your form uh, uh, submit your choices for all india round 1 allotment happens you are allotted choice number 4 which is gmc nagpur general medicine now once you are allotted choice number 4 there are two scenarios one you go and join the all india round one seat two you skip the all india round one seat and free exit the all india round one choice the seat so these are the two uh, scenarios first we will look at what happens when you are allotted choice 4 here gmc nagpur and you do not join the seat so you have submitted your round one choices and your choice list is this 1 to 8 like we uh, mentioned before and uh, just give me a moment okay and you are going into all india round 2 without joining the gmc nagpur seat now round 2 choice filling starts like it has been mentioned clearly in the prospectus you will start with a fresh 
you will start with a blank choice list. Basically, it is fresh choice filling. Your round one choices here will not be shown during round two choice filling login when you first time login. Now, what you will do, you will decide on these choices there. Now, let us say you go ahead and say that you decide at this point in time that say GS Pediatrics is higher preference for you than GMC Nagpur General Medicine. I want to move it up above GMC Nagpur. GMC Nagpur was allotted, but you did not join. This is the order that you want to. So basically you want one, two, three the, to be the same and four to be said GS and GMC Nagpur below said GS pediatric seat. What would you do? You go to the choice list. First step, add one, two, three. Very clear. It is going to be the same. Add said GS period, pediatrics as a fourth choice. You will see said GS pediatrics, even though it is below the allotted seat and you can add said GSP pediatrics. What would be next? Obviously GMC Nagpur. Even though you were allotted GMC Nagpur and you did not join the seat, you will still see GMC Nagpur and you can add GMC Nagpur in the list. What, is the, what are the next three? The next three orders, uh, the order of the next three choices, you're not changing in. So you'll put in them in the same order. Now this is possible. There have been a lot of queries on whether I'll be able to move this choice over, uh, move a lower preferred choice over an allotted choice. Yes, it is possible. There are a lot of queries on whether I'll be able to uh, able to add the same choice as I was allotted in All India round one. If I did not join the seat, yes, you will be able to add the GMC Nagpur choice, choice as well in round two. So you will fill in from a blank choice list and you can do whatever you want. In the sense, let's say you want to change prefer the preference of these two, the first two choices. You want to move Topiola to, uh, to, the, to the first choice and say GS to the second choice. You can also do that just by... Uh, when you are entering, just mention Topiwala as the first choice and say Jesus as the second choice. The same, that is possible as well. The same thing is possible for this set of choices as well. You will be able to change 6, 7, 8 to whatever order you want. So anything is possible. Moving from below to a higher choice than what was allotted is possible. Moving from a higher choice than to uh, below uh, an allotted choice is also possible. And changing choices is also possible. It is ultimately a new choice list and that is why it is called a fresh choice filling for round two. Now, the next one is, uh, we'll be looking at a scenario where you will, you would have been allotted an All India round one seat and you would have joined the seat. Now in that scenario, you would have, uh, in, the, in the same scenario, you, uh, you would have been allotted choice four, which is GMC Nagpur and join the seat, but the, but the others, other preferences remain the same. Even though you have joined the seat, you want to put in say GS Pediatrics above your GMC Nagpur allotted seat. And you want to change, make certain changes in the first few preferences. So in this scenario, after AR1 joining of GMC Nagpur seat, you will start with a fresh choice list like already mentioned. What you need to do is first, do the first, uh, first basically ma uh, make the order in order of preference, put in Topiwala first, Say G is second because you want to change these choices. Third, put in grant, there is no change. Fourth, put in GMC, say GS pediatrics. So these are the four seats, one, two, three, and four, which you prefer to be, and these are higher choices than GMC Nagpur. In case you don't get these choices, then you want GMC Nagpur, say GS has gone to higher preference. So all you need to do is fill in these four choices from a blank choice list. You would have had a blank choice list, fill in these four choices. That is all you need to do. There is nothing else that needs to be done. In case you don't get these three choices, system will look for Sage GS Pediatrics. And in case you don't get Sage GS Pediatrics, then system will ensure that a lot GMC Nagpur again to you, which means you retain your already joined seat. You don't need to put in your GMC Nagpur seat to retain it. If you don't get these four choices, you will still retain your GMC Nagpur seat. What happens if I put in GMC Nagpur as the fifth choice? It is the impact is exactly the same as what happens when you put in four choices. If you don't get these first four choices, then you will be allotted a GMC Nagpur seat. You don't need to put in this the already allotted and joint choice. But if you put in, there is no, there are no worries. It will still remain the same. You will retain the seat in case you don't get the first four ones. What will now the coming to six, seven, eight, should I fill in six, seven, eight? No, anyways, you're going to be allotted GMC Nagpur medicine. Uh, 
uh, in case you don't get the first four choices ending up at say gs pediatrics so you don't need to uh, put in any other choices the last three ones but still if you put in it will remain the same because the system will automatically stop allotment process for your rank once it comes to gmc nagpur general medicine which you will retain now where is the confusion there are a lot of people re people referring to question number 18 which see, says that choices of higher order preferences will be considered for upgradation what does this mean this means if you fill a list like this from 1 to 8 choices 1 2 3 4 alone will be considered for upgradation these choices will not be considered your higher order choices will be considered for upgradation from gmc nagpur that is what this means it doesn't mean anything else it doesn't necessarily it doesn't mean that you will not be able to move say gs pediatrics up it just means that if you at, at during round to choice filling if you fill it like this your higher order preferences will not be uh, only will be considered these choices will not be considered but we always suggest that you fill in only those choices which are higher order preference so that there is absolute clarity on what seats you wish to get if you don't get the gmc nagpur general medicine already allotted in joint seat so uh, i think this is pretty much clear and i i'm sure this will sort a lot of uh, sort out a lot of confusion on the, on choice filling in a a round two a lot of people are worried about what choices to fill in all india round one because they wish to, would wish to change choices in all india round two uh, please share it with them and uh, hoping that uh, this is uh, this provides absolute clarity to the confusion that exists uh, Thank you so much for watching this video and wishing you all the best. Uh, uh, hope you get the seat that you deserve in All India Round 1 and in further rounds. Uh, please uh, comment uh, your queries on the video, what uh, better we can do or any suggestion. Uh, we'll get back to you. And we have Zynerd, uh, all the details updated in Zynerd basically, uh, uh, including the fee details of every institute and the seat matrix of all uh, uh, the entire All India Round 1 counseling. We'll be updating more information as we move forward. Uh, please suggest uh, Zynerd to your friends and others in case you think Zynerd was useful for you and would be useful for them. Thank you and uh, meet you in the next video.